Hello, my name is Eva and I run the account Notation is Great on Twitter. So this is going to be the second of two videos where I talk about some of my favorite online collections and archives which feature examples of musical notation, music scores. So all of them are free and available online. So let's start. So number eight is Dayam. So Dayam is not so much an online archive or collection but rather they are a directory of resources in other archives and collections that they collaborate with to digitize a range of, of resources. So you need to create an account, but it's free. So for example, if you look at the list of all available sources and we can click on sources with images, because as I said, the rest is more of a directory which gives you references. And for example, we click on a particular shelf mark, click on images, and then you have a viewer with high quality digitizations of those images. So this one is really cool because the first piece that we have in this manuscript is Josquin's L'Homme Armé, so the mass on L'Homme Armé. So there it is. And another similar resource that I wanted to talk about is Cantus, which is the same principle but with Gregorian chant. So you might have heard about archive.org, which is this giant repository of all kinds of materials coming from libraries, mostly in America, but also from private collections and so on. So the thing is, it can be a bit difficult sometimes to find music here, but there are a few good examples. So for example, if you do a search for music manuscript, we have a number of interesting things. Um, most notably, we have a number of music books by individuals or private individuals from the 18th, 19th century, where basically you would copy your favorite music in a manuscript book and that would be like your personal collection of music. So we have a few of those coming mostly from um, American collections, as you can see here. And then there's another really cool collection that I wanted to show you. So the Mahler Rossi collection, which is also hosted by Archive. So archive.org collaborates with institutions to digitize their materials and offer them online. And this is a quite small collection of some of Mahler's manuscripts uh, that used to belong to his one of his nephews. So here we have Lied eines Farnen Gesellis. So number 11 is from another state library, so in this case the Library of Congress, and they have this section on notated music, so there's a lot of printed music from the late 19th, early 20th century, lots of songs, lots of piano music. There's also some older material, and you can search for it on the left-hand column. So this is the 15th century, and they have this really cool manuscript called the Chansonnier La Borde. This is kind of funny shaped book. So let's have a look at one of the pages. I mean, I really like this manuscript. I think it's really beautiful. So here we go. Number 12 is from the Juilliard Conservatoire, which has a quite small but interesting collection. And it's mostly or completely classical music, classical composers. They have some really cool things, like for example for Beethoven they have some materials that were presumably used in the first performance of the Ninth Symphony, so worth exploring as well. So number 13 is l'Internet Culturale, which is a repository including manuscripts from several libraries in Italy. So here we can see all the music scores and manuscripts that they've got and the thing is the search function is perhaps not the best I mean you can play a bit with, the, with that left hand column but if you have some time it's really worth exploring because it has really interesting material so most of it either from Italy or music that was circulated in Italy so for example we have Haydn there but it comes from an Italian collection from an Italian donor we have again this cool viewer here
So number 14 is the Beinecke Library, which is part of Yale University. So they have a section on the website for digital collections and we can do a search for music and see what comes up. So a lot of the materials here have some connection to the United States, so United States composers or collectors and so on, but not, not everything. And for example, here we have a manuscript of Puccini, of Turandot, which we also saw another manuscript from this opera in the last video about the recording collection. So we can have a look here in the viewer. Finally, number 15, the Shoyen collection, which is a smaller collection with a range of materials, not just music. And they do have some really cool things, so ranging from the Middle Ages to the present. So for example, they have this Catalan gradual, which I really like. So it's a collection really worth exploring as well. So between this video and the last video, you now have 15 online libraries and archives with musical notation and musical scores. And I'll post the links for this video in the comments box so that you can explore for yourselves. Of course, there are many more that I haven't covered. I mean, it doesn't mean these 15 are the best ones. It's just the ones I perhaps use more often or I prefer for whatever reason. But if you have any other suggestions or if you'd like to make a comment of archives that you particularly like online, just leave a comment underneath or just send me a tweet on my notation account. So other than that, I hope you've enjoyed this video. So thanks for watching and goodbye.